Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a new function that's been added to the uh, tasks, an enhancement to the tasks. So um, inside the application, uh, let me go ahead and open a quick file here. All right, so inside the application, we have the replace function. The replace function's always been what I consider to be the most um, uh, powerful function because it allows you to capture data um, across all of the uh, fields in the record. So um, sometimes folks will have a batch edits that they want to run. A lot of times they would have these in Excel sheets. Uh, MarkEdit allows you to use the external files to fill in uh, find, replace, and conditional options. Uh, in the past, when you would check this button, uh, MarkEdit would give you folders for here and here and here and you would have to fill those folders in um, in order for uh, the tool to know how to do the process. Uh, essentially each file um, had to have the same number of items as every other file so that it could match up the find, replace, and any conditionals needed to be run. Uh, to simplify this, I've set it up so that now the tool takes one file. Uh, the file needs to be in tab delimited format um, and uh, the function otherwise functions the way that it did before. Um, the big change is in uh, allowing this to work within tasks. Uh, within MarkEdit, that's never been allowed um, for users to be able to uh, take a list um, and external uh, search and replace criteria uh, and embed it into a task itself. It's always been off limits. Uh, so what I've done is I've grabbed, I've made a small list. So here's my list. I'm going to take uh, 2018 and change them to 19, place to placement, and head of Zeus to head of Apollo. Um, I went ahead and picked uh, a couple things that we could see up front here. So Zeus, 19, uh, place. So a couple things that will be really easy to see that they've been uh, changed. Uh, so we'll go ahead um, and you can do this in two places. Uh, you could either do it straight from here um, and set everything up and then copy it to a task uh, or I'll just go ahead and go to uh, a task manager um, because this always is where uh, you would be stopped from doing this so this way you can see how it works so we'll set up the task you'll see this buttons here this has been blanked out so you used to not have the access to it you check it um, the option shows up I will go ahead and collect my list so my list is right here so the list gets filled in, so that's all the criteria I need. Um, if the list was going to have uh, three terms, so I was going to do the perform, find, and replace if, I would check that button. I wouldn't fill anything in. Um, all that would be here, but I would check that box to let Mark Edit know that, that the conditional is going to be in use. Um, otherwise, if that's unchecked, then the tool will assume, even if there's three entries in your spreadsheet, it will assume that you're only doing a find and a replace. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like that. I'm going to tell it to uh, replace all. And this box comes up. Now this is an important thing I wanted to make sure we point out. So one of the challenges with doing um, files in tasks is that they be, it makes the tasks so that they're no longer portable. And so what I've done is um, as part of the process, MarkEdit will move the tasks that you've created into a file in the configurations folder so that now the task can be more portable. So that way, if you are working with them in a shared environment, they should work. Um, uh, I'm gonna, I need to test a little bit more, but the, the, if for some reason it doesn't, it'll be easy for me to, to set them up for, for portability. But now they're in a place where they should be easy to get to. Um, what this also means is that if you need to update them, you'll want to update them in that location. So you'll see it tells you where they've been put in the macros list, list.txt. It, it makes a copy. Um, you'll see that's also referenced here. Uh, so I go ahead and save it, close it. Um, if I go to mark edit, we can see uh, that file. So under macros list, this is my list file. It's been copied here. So if I needed to make edits in the future, that would be the file I would edit. Um, so if I go back to the file that I was looking at, my sample, uh, and I go ahead and 
run that macro. Uh, we go ahead and run. We can see that it did run the list. 16 modifications were made. If we look at the file, we'll see Head of Apollo, 2019, and Placement. So all three of the items in the list uh, were processed as part of the task. So in the past, users who wanted to be able to do something like this would have to create a task to include every item in the batch they wanted to use, which meant that editing that was somewhat significantly, was a significant undertaking because you had to edit a task, which meant setting up a new replacement for each one. Um, hopefully this will be easier, a little more straightforward. Like I said, um, the way that the tool saves the content should make it so it, it is uh, potentially more portable because it's in the macros directory. Um, right now the program is keeping track of the entire file name. Um, long term I think I will probably remove uh, the file name and do everything in um, uh, uh, relational uh, uh, links. Um, though for right now I wanted to make sure that I had it working uh, to make sure that this was going to work the way I wanted it to. Um, so that's kind of what's here and I wanted to get it out sooner and later because I know there's a handful of people who were talking about wanting to have functionality like this and, and would be um, probably willing testers. Uh, so that's how it works. If you have questions let me know.